now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, first time in a week, we kept the temperature out of the 90s, so our second heat wave of the season came to an end. The humidity came down a little bit in Evans until late this afternoon. Not as much as I had hoped, but it will be down a little bit for tomorrow, and then turning very humid again on Thursday. But the rain chances go up, and that brings the actual temperature back down. But today, mid to upper 80s across the area. And it looks like uh, temperatures tomorrow a little warmer. I'd say upper 80s to around 90. A pretty typical, a decent summer day is on the way. And live first warning Doppler radar is dry right now. Earlier this evening, we had a the front. It was really a second front, which marks the leading edge of the slightly less humid air settled down along the Ohio River. And a couple of showers were repeatedly firing just to the east-southeast of Owensboro. They have now faded away. But you can see where the rain fell over the past 24 hours, mainly across the southern half of the tri-state. And again, that's going to be pretty much the case tomorrow before the rain chances increase area wide on Thursday. Here's a live view from Henderson. That's our Heads Construction Tower camera, Highway 41 there on the northeast side of town. You got a nice view of the Evansville skyline off in the distance. And there's a view from the skyline on our Zemer Funeral Home Tower camera off the top of Fifth Third Bank. Temperature right now 76, but the dew point down to 67. So that's that drop in the humidity. Winds are calm, and we've got temperatures now falling through the 70s. 74 Henderson, 78 Owens. Carmi is already down to 70 degrees, so I think in general we'll be in the upper 60s to around 70. And if we can get into the 60s, it'll be the first time in two weeks that we got the temperature below 70. But there's the, the dew points, and remember, the lower the, these numbers, the better it feels. And I was hoping we'd get in this zone area-wide, but looks like that, that less humid air will push a little farther south. So tomorrow, kind of borderline between humid and very humid, uh, with obviously more humidity down to the south. That's where the front has stalled out and farther to the south we have a tropical disturbance which is likely going to become a tropical storm here soon headed towards Puerto Rico and it's headed for Florida on Saturday but right now it looks like it'll just be a tropical storm at that point but still very disorganized so things may change with that system we'll keep you up to date on that but right now shouldn't be impacting our weather that front will stay down to our south tomorrow so future tracker paints a partly cloudy Wednesday few showers and thunder showers developing mainly in our southern counties hot and humid mid upper 80s to around 90 and then that front works back to the north tomorrow night with a few showers and thunder showers warm lows in the low 70s and by daybreak Thursday a few showers to start the day they're going to be increasing as we head through our Thursday not really a severe threat here but locally heavy rain and the lightning that's going to hold our highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s but but very humid and then that activity diminishes some Thursday night Friday it redevelops and guidance is be going back and forth whether or not the front's going to get far enough to the south to diminish the rain. The new guidance just coming in is hitting the rain chances hard again on Friday. And that will be the case again on Saturday. So overnight tonight, mainly clear, warm, upper 60s to lower 70s. And tomorrow, partly cloudy, hot and humid. A few showers and thunder showers developing in our southern counties, upper 80s to around 90. But Thursday is certainly a weather aware day as the scattered showers and thunder showers will be increasing throughout the day. A very humid but cooler high of 81. Now on Friday, I took the weather aware tag off, but the, the two new models that have just come into the Weather Center are hitting the rain chances harder. So when you see this on Tri-State homepage before you go to bed, that weather aware tag is going to be back on Friday. It's there on Saturday also, 70% chance, but the system does pull away, it looks like, Saturday night into Sunday morning. So it should be improving weather on Sunday. Humidity falls away, high still around 80, and then we gradually warm back to normal with still somewhat of an unsettled weather pattern early next week. But bottom line, if you need to mow the lawn or do any outdoor work, tomorrow's the day because if you don't, you're probably going to have to wait until Sunday. Okay, will do. Thanks, Wayne.